still August 5th. Uh, I'm behind on... I'm behind on loss though. <laughs> but, um... I'm trying to do the videos for the next couple of days. And I'm, I guess, the, I'm reflecting on... It's chapter 52, episode uh, 5. Learning how to become an escape. And I'm... But I'm preparing episode 7 where I'm reflecting on that dream. The one with the threes where I'm teaching my family. They're wanting to learn and I'm teaching them. So I'm, I'm guiding them. Teaching them. And they're taking the information. Then it's my sister where there's more of a resistance. Like she knows what she needs to do but it's like still resisting it. And then the third one is where I'm, I become these in strangers who are needing to escape toxic relationships and and it's almost like I'm I'm becoming them to escape was the feeling that I got and I forgot about that dream and I'm realizing right now as I'm listening to myself explain that dream I'm like duh you be duh <laughs> that's you know the three different uh ways that people respond to information one is where they're receptive and they're learning, right? They're, they're, they're learning it and um, they're listening to the advice. The other one is they're still resistant to it, not ready for it. And then the third one are the people who uh, need more help, uh, more of the hand-holding, more of the let's do this together, right? Versus me just giving you information and you doing it. It's... I see that you can't do it on your own. So, so only that in the dream it was like that extreme of like I became them so that they can escape. That's the only connection right now that I just in listening to the video and preparing the write up that I was like, what am I missing? What what am I missing? Because I don't remember ever solving that puzzle piece, and I was like, oh well, that's the only thing I can think of is that it's the three different ways that people respond to to information right it's I'm either open to receiving it I'm resisting it or I just need extra help right like it just it made me think of kids when I would work in special ed like it everyone had their different levels of, of abilities to to use this information to use to take in information and apply it right and, and I worked in all ranges of classrooms and, and students of different abilities and, um, you know, and we forget <laughs> that as adults, right, we still take on these challenges in the everyday life. Like we, we're all on a spectrum of functioning and, and there, we're more unique now than we've ever been before. And, and so it's purposeful in that it's nudging us to own our truth wherever we are on the spectrum of functioning. And I'm not talking about autism functioning. I'm talking about just life functioning. We are all on the spectrum of, of how we process information, our, our stories, right? Where we come from, how we're being raised and, and what we're doing um, uh, to get by and, and where we're going, right? So... Yeah, that, that's the only thing that, that has stood out so far. And I, I don't know the other videos that are coming up ahead. It's 111. <laughs> uh, the videos that are coming up ahead. So I don't, I don't remember decoding that particular dream. But I just wanted to record that because I just realized I was like, oh, it's the three different ways of teaching. It's the, you know, where the, the ones that are very resistant. I mean, if you're a good teacher, you know, like, you don't. Resistance will just create more resistance, right? Force is force regardless of what side you're on. So it's like, okay, there's, there's just this awareness that this child, this person is going to learn the hard way. Let them be, right? And and they're going to fail. They're going to, we did our part. This one's more receptive. They're wanting the information. They're asking for information. And then the other one is, I can't do it alone. I can't. And, and. There's more of this embodiment, like, let me, let me be you. Let me show you, right? We'll see. Unless I get another dream, 
between now and if that one's scheduled to post August 7th. August 4th? 5th? 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 <laughs> Alright, that's it. I might, I might combine this one with the other one. Um, yeah, just to keep them short. Okay. Hi, my name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learned to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us. And Whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth, this just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, You know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t-shirt designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey. Um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is you know, great. <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step and, and, and be vulnerable, you know, with, with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth, and we realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were. And so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience, it, and that you find some type of truth for yourself or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with, with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and you know, we'll see what else um, comes next for me.